Hello everyone at YouTube.com. This is Legendbound here and I'm coming back to you guys with some more league gameplay. As you guys can see, I am top lane gangplank and I will be doing a special type of gangplank build that mainly refers to crits. A lot, a lot, a lot of crits. It's called crit plank, I think. It's its theoretical name. Boom. And each time that I actually kill a minion with my with my Q ability parley, it gives me an extra four gold. So I'm gonna be doing my best to, to try to get a little bit of extra gold doing that. But you know, there's always jacks to poke at, so. Looks like we actually have quite quite a nice little poke thing that we can get going on here. Ooh. Yeah, we do do quite a bit of damage through the poke. The problem is we do have a, a few minions attacking us, and we do need to focus on CS a little bit more than we were. Alright, boom. We can just keep doing that. Absolutely no problemo there. Okay, we're just gonna... This. Now, our goal is just to continue to be poking Jax with, with our ability, and we're going to be maxing... Of course, we're going to be maxing... Boom. Oh. Alright, not too shabby. How are we looking at versus the Jackson CS? We are winning, of course, because we have the poke damage, which means that he kind of has to subject himself to our will as the more dominating person in the lane, especially for the early parts. And we, we really, I, I didn't think it would be owning the lane this well. It's just a matter of, because uh, we had to build up our crits. So I didn't think it would be doing like hardly any damage at all. Oh crap, gosh dang it. Here we go, we're just gonna max this. We're good to go. We spent all of our charges and our crystalline flask. So now we're gonna spend one mana potion, one health potion. We wanna keep our, our stats up. And uh, um, Jax actually still has a full cr crystalline flask. It's kind of funny that we both went for crystalline flask, all things considered. I'm thinking the first item that we're gonna get is actually gonna be static shiv though. Cause that's a really good crit item and it allows for us to do even more poke damage. So that's what I'm looking at for first item. Which which means we need to go ahead and go back and get Avarice Blade soon. Because the Avarice Blade will allow us to get more CS from our minions. Which will be very, very important. So that was dumb. Huh? Yeah, try that again, fool. Alright, well I don't know why he went for that. He thought that he could kill me with the stun. And granted that stun is very good. It's just not... <gasps> Who? Oh! Oh man, we almost died. Okay, stop. Okay, we gotta go back. We gotta go back now. Okay, we'll go ahead and press the B button. Look to our static ship. We will... We're gonna go ahead and pick up the Avarice Blade, and... No, we'll just get the Avarice Blade. And then we'll go ahead and max out our health and mana potions. Because, now, we could have gotten the Brawler's Glove to stack on as much crit as possible. But to be honest, I don't really feel like that's worth it. Just because the extra 8 crits, but we also have to do, we do need to survive and land. I mean, like, we can't just completely ignore Jax and just farm. Well, we could, but we have the advantage right now, and we want to push that, so. Okay, you want to play the game now? Yeah, that's right, you better flash out. He is asking for it. He really is. He's going to get short-handed. Because he cannot kill us. He's overestimating his strength really, really hard. Because he can get in, but he can't get out. We'll go ahead and put a little bit of damage on him. Ah, uh, gosh dang it. Lucky him. That was stupid. Now, I don't know if that was actually worth it on our part. Just because he did have his, his stupid dodge ability. We should have backed out the second I saw him activate it. I thought we could deal damage through it though, for some reason. I don't know. We have spent all of our charges. Of course, he has spent two of his, and he has no potions. So we'll go ahead and spend uh, two potions of ours. And he just has to sit under turret now. He cannot come out and see us because we will poke him with our with our pervy. Parley. Whatever. Pervy, parley, all the same. Yep, the goal is to prevent him from getting any CS. We can hold him down so hard in this lane because we have absolutely no fear at all. I'm not afraid of him coming out because he's not going to. 
If he did, I'd be very surprised. All right, not too shabby. Go. And he just has to sit there, and which means free farming for us. Not too bad either, because that means we're getting uh, and for each kill that we get, we're getting more experience than he is overall. Which means that we can just sit here and uh, we really want to get just just at least one hit in on him, just to I don't know knock us health down a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and place a ward over here. We don't want to get ganked from behind. It would not be very good. Not be very good at all. You can see they're already beginning to get a few crits here and there, but it's not a ton. Okay, so we're just gonna secure this cannon menu for ourselves. Boom. And it is just free farming CS, and he just has to sit there. And yeah, so this is gonna be a pretty slow landing phase. Oh, well, I don't know why I used that ability. What the heck? He's, he really wanted that. He he really did. He was like, okay, I want this one thing. Oh no! Crap! Gosh dang it. Okay, that was really stupid on our part. I just thought I could get the kill, but he really did wait for that, and that was really smart on his part. I should have flashed in for my Q a little bit earlier. Ah, gosh dang it. Okay, well that might have slightly evened the playing field, but he still does not have an advantage, so that's not too bad for us. In fact, it finally forces him to go back, maybe he'll get a little bit aggressive again. Total gold put under 65 extra gold. That's pretty nice. Said so is over here is probably gonna be ganking mid lane soon. And then bot lane is doing just fine. There's the nice Blood Moon skin. And then the the Braum El Tigre skin. And for those of you guys who don't know, it's like some kind of wrestler type deal with um, Hispanic culture, I believe. And we're just the standard gangplank against Nemesis Jax, I believe. Yeah, that's it. But we still have such a big lead on this Jax, it's not really an issue. You know, it, it would have been really worth it if we'd gotten the kill, but you know, it's still okay to make a mistake here and there. Go ahead and raise morale. Here we go, and we're creating more and more with, with zeal. And we're also getting quite a bit of attack speed as well. Our parlay is beginning to do quite a bit of damage. Jax still has to sit under turret. Gosh dang it. I swear, I feel like this ability should be going through that, but it's not. Because I thought that the, uh, Jax's thing only goes through, um, only prevents like basic attack damage rather than abilities, but I could be wrong. I suppose that's what's really good about the ability as well. Alright. Gonna go ahead and alert my allies. Oh, never mind. Okay, I thought he was just walking away. Okay, and it, this is still a free farm lane for us and not so much for Jax. I mean, look at this, he has 19, we have 65. I mean, there's no, this is like the physical embodiment of holding someone down. After the what hole? Oh. Guys, some weird quotes. Go ahead and push him away. We don't want him to get any experience at all. The more denial that we can have, the better. We're gonna get you. Oh, we missed it. I don't know if he's getting any CS from the minion kills that happen over here. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and use Parley, and we'll see if we can actually. Uh, oh my gosh! Okay, we're gonna run now. He can't catch us though. <gasps> he might be able to. Okay, he should. Oh my gosh, he's not dead. All right, but now we got static ship, so we should be able to pull away with our lane right now. Dang, that was actually really good on his part. I don't know if we should have turned around and hit him, but I was afraid of not getting the kill if we hadn't. If we hadn't. Ah, crap baskets. We've given up. We've given up our lane lead. Two kills. Now our CS lead should be enough for makeup for two kills. But not if, if we die again, he will if he will have the lead in this lane. We do now have static shiv though, so that is something that we can indeed call our own. 
And now it's just a matter of, uh... See, he's probably not as afraid as he was before after he's killed us now. So, it's more of a mindset change in his, in his mind. He's like, okay, you know what, I can kill this person now, I'm not afraid of them. And that's actually quite a big problem for us, because we want him to be afraid. Him being afraid makes our lane that much easier. Okay. Now, now, okay, that was the burst damage we're looking for. Now, unfortunately, Rex had to come in, but we got the crit, and that was what we were looking for. That's the kind of damage that we're looking forward to in this build. So the next thing we're going to be looking for is we're going to go ahead and get the Cloak of Agility, because we want our high damage output. So that will allow us to have a much higher critical chance, as well as just uh, propelling us forward in our, in our abilities. But wow, that was solid damage. Hello, Jax. We, we did like half of his health bar in one hit. That was amazing. Now, later on in the game, we will be able to just one-shot people. Like, uh, who's there to carry? Twitch, one-shot. Easy. One-shot, so easy. We're actually gonna, just going to go ahead and use our ultimate right here. Pick up a little bit of CS for ourselves. I think it'll, I think it'll give us some CS. Yeah, there you go. Nice CS for ourselves. Go ahead and get my lane pushing again while I'm not even there. Iron Solari Shield. Oh. Wow, the, the Turk is the Iron Solari shield instead of just... I didn't know what it, that shield was called. Okay, Jax is back. I think he might be a little bit less um, likely to go in after he saw damage like that. Like, come on, bro. Not happening. That's amazing. That was some really good damage. If we just, we just come in here and we just want to... Yeah, yeah, he, he's scared again. He is so scared. He saw the damage. He's probably like, holy crap. And now we're actually creating a decent bit. And we just wait for our thing to charge up again, and we'll just hit him. We'll go like, boom! Oh! We got it in before his stupid shield thingy. Alright. And see, that is the damage we're looking for. That's not great, because we still yet to get a crit on our, our ability. But it's important if we go in with our static shiv up, then, uh... And the crit is most certainly... Oh, okay. Gosh, dang it. Jax is just so annoying. Okay, that sounds like a Rek'Sai. I don't know where he is, but he is certainly there. And that is where we go ahead and flash. Nope, we can't kill him this time. Said you. I'm gonna need, need some ganks soon. Alright, now that's kind of unfortunate as well as they need to defend the turret. My gosh, that you want it. Come on. I've gotten no assist at all from her. Okay, we actually don't even like really need the health pods. So we're gonna go ahead and sacrifice some of that for some more for some higher damage with the pickaxe. Gosh dang it. This is so retarded. Mock Laka. Excuse me. We're gonna help to do that right here. We need to go in. Oh my gosh. Well, if they weren't getting fed now, or if they weren't getting fed before, they certainly are now. Oh, he's so dead. He's dead. Oh gosh. Crap, we didn't back away. Mm, that was our fault. Still, I'm really happy with the damage that we were able to do there. My bad, Thresh. Cassandra, why is she scared? Uh-oh. Is Katarina fed? No, she's not fed at all. Okay, not fed at all. Oh, no! Camber glitch! Okay, guys. Word from the wise. Uh, don't re repeatedly press the spacebar while you're dead, because you, you will get locked up on your champion's dead body, and you won't be able to move. It'll lock up the camera. Which is really irritating. And it just is for a little while, too. It's not like you even have to unclick it. Oh my god. Oh, she missed the lantern shield. Oh my gosh. Okay. Another thing that they have included new in the PvE is these little areas right here, in, right from the base, that your team can walk out of and the enemy team cannot. Ooh, sweet. Okay, that's not too bad. Now, we still do not have a very good crit chance. I mean, like, we only have like 35% crit. So, that's why our damage output is not nearly as high as we want it to be. Which is why it's very important that we finish all of our important crit items. 
So there's like three standard crit items, which is Stag, Shiv, Infinity Edge, and Phantom Dancer. Those are the three uh, very essential crit items. And I believe after those three, you have like a 75% crit chance. And then, uh, yeah, after that, it's just more about stacking, uh, it's stacking, stacking damage. So that way your crits actually do a lot. Which is like Infinity Edge comes in there, and there's there's a few other items that are really good in, in these scenarios. But Jax has decided to leave us alone up here, so we're just gonna go ahead and push to our heart's content. This would be okay. Jax wants to come around. Uh oh! Disrespect the crit. Okay, well I suppose that was okay. Wasn't perfect, but it wasn't too bad either. Okay. And with this, we can actually pick ourselves up the BF Sword. This is a very big power spike for us, um, unlike some of our other ones, because this is probably the biggest damage item that we have so far in our kit. And it just allows our crits to do so much more. Like, um, the, the ratios for the bonus damage on Parley is one for one. And then, when we finish Infinity Edge right here, all of our crits do 250% damage instead of 200%. So all of those items are essential. And then on top of that, we can get Infinity Edge, but that's more of a... I'm not sure if that actually increases our one strikes damage or not. In the meantime, we can just go ahead and farm up some more. I believe that we both won't have our ultimates next time, and I actually do believe that might favor us. It could be... Um, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to walk into that. I mean, you got to give me some credit here and there. Oh my gosh, what is, I, I cannot get through the mindset of him having the stupid dodge shield and then me just want to, oh, I still got it. Okay, now we run, can't catch us. Ooh, oh, oh gosh. Oh, oh, can we? Oh, we could not stall for the last... Oh, gosh. Okay, so his ultimate actually does come up way before ours. But... Oh, no. Okay, let me respawn. I was about to say, we might be able to go ahead and get him with the ultimate. But that would be asking for a bit much. Unless you manage to show up somewhere on the map before... I'm like, as we're coming back up, which is not very likely at all. We can actually wait for this. Because once we get our, our, our next amount of crit, we will actually have 20 plus 25... We'll have a, oh wait, no, 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 20, 20. we'll have a 45% crit, which is slightly under half, but, uh, you know, we're okay. Hmm. Let's see if we can help out on the map with our ultimates. That's another thing about game plan, is if you're not using your ultimate, you need to use the global pressure. This can activate anywhere on the map at any time, so we'll go ahead and use it here just cause. And, you know, it, it puts a little bit of damage down. It's not too big of an ultimate. I mean, it's not that, oh my gosh, that's so incredibly broken ultimate. But it, it can launch anywhere. So, Quinn, bad face check. Now, we are happen to be the highest level in the game. But our damage has really not begun to show yet. Because until we get, like, 100% crit chance, we really cannot show our, our full strength. Because we don't do that much damage. Let's go ahead and see if we can't steal a big thing. Oh... Well timed. We actually might want to try going back up to the top lane and see if we can get a little bit more farm. We will indeed see. Yeah, we'll go ahead and start heading back up there. I don't know where Jax is. In fact, I don't know where any of their entire team is. But that is not... Oh, shoot. We forgot to pick up... Oh, wow. That could have ended badly. Oh, it did end badly. Oh, crap. Help, help. Oh, wow. Stupid bushes. I cannot believe we did not notice that. Man, that was completely our fault. Alright, it's okay. We got a KDA of 0.8 or 0.5. Oh, don't die. Uh, turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh my gosh. Hashtag dead. <gasps> oh, did she? Oh, okay. I was about to say, if she survives. Um, so actually gonna pull them back in. Uh, nope, they don't. They don't have nearly enough damage to, to make that happen. This is your lowest damage members of the team. So I'll go ahead and uh, convince 
Jack's not to sit in there. Just push him off with a little bit of more mental pressure than actual physical pressure. I mean, that, that was nowhere close to even killing him, but, you know, it was... I had to put some kind of pressure down, otherwise he would have just sat there and gotten someone. Even though we could see him, someone would have ended up making that mistake. Like, j just knowing these guys, like... Alright, not too bad. We're still doing pretty good on the DS side of things. Alright, and now that we're getting scurvy, uh, clears any crowd control effects and heals myself. Alright, that's, that's pretty good. So we can get rid of slows like that. Alright. Oh, wow. Go ahead and get rid of you. Wouldn't want a wreck size showing up behind us without us knowing. Or I should come over here. I think we can take the blue up. Oh. Or it'll already be taken. Sweet. I wonder how long ago that happened. We don't get a timer up here if we don't see it die, so... Oh, gosh. We do not have enough damage yet. Okay, we, we had to, like, play, play our way around them from the outside. Otherwise, can't, we can't do crap. Okay. After using an ability, uh... I'm thinking... We're gonna go ahead and we want ourselves to have. Okay, so we have. Okay, we want Infinity Edge next, I suppose. Infinite. No, not Infinity Edge. Uh, fan. Phantom Dancer. Ah! Woo! Having a little bit of spelling trouble there. We're gonna go ahead and pick ourselves up Cloak of Agility. That's not too bad. Okay, uh, Rek'Sai. Nope. Why did I use that? I don't even know. This is more of an impulse thing. Lol. Okay, we'll go ahead and use our ultimate right here. Help our allies stack on the damage, and he's dead. He's so dead. Yep. Okay, so we need to go ahead and focus over here. We have been doing very well on the dragons. Now we're still facing a small inconsistently with our gold income. Oh! Wow! Ouchie! Ouchie! That burst. Nothing we can do right there. That was rough. Oh, uh, you can only add my ulti damage to that. Oh, wow. We actually won that pretty hard. Okay, I had, I had to say, like, this is my first time doing crit gangplank, and we we're not doing as well as I might have hoped. But it is still pretty cool to see when we get really far into the late game. Now we do happen to be working as a team slightly more than the opposing team, which is I suppose why we're doing so well. But yeah, in the end it really just comes down to our ability to get Parley off without getting hit. That's like our whole thing. And then like this active raise morale is really good right before we go into engagements. Because we gain 40 attack damage and 20% movement speed, that's really good. Now, we don't even have boots, so it's not, like, yay, but, in fact, we might even want to get boots, so... Yeah, we will probably want to get boots. Go ahead and go ahead and take a few things right here. And one of the, the essential items that we will be getting, because we are basing all of our damage off a of ranged ability, but we are still playing as a melee champion, this, uh, Ravenous Hydra right here is for melee only, but... Our parley attacks on hit, uh, uses on hit effects. So even using it from range will allow us to abuse the fact that we have that ability. Go ahead and use our, our ultimate right there, just cause. Okay. Um. Oh wow! Nice burst. <gasps> How did I die? Oh, stupid fist thing. Wow. Wow. Of course, we're the only one on the entire team to die. My gosh. Okay, we're going to go ahead and sell Crystalline Flask right here. So we can go ahead and pick ourselves up another seal. And what was that for? That was for Phantom Dancer. Right, yeah. Another seal for Phantom Dancer. Like I saw a hit. I'll get it. Okay, Phantom Dancer, it's not a very expensive item once you get the two core things, which would be the Zeal and the Cloak of Agility. That's actually a very cheap item, so there's not a whole lot left to save up. 
What we can do, though, is look towards Dragon, because that's in two minutes. So while we may be very squishy and continue to die, our team is gaining more in the process of us not doing very much. Oh, wow. Bro has got to stop doing that. He thinks he's like... He just thinks he's really good, but he's not. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. We actually do have very high damage output. Ooh, ooh, we'll grab you. Or are we all going back? No, we, we need to farm up on some of the camps. We own five of them. Gonna go ahead and... Alright, yeah, see, not bad. Not bad damage at all. Granted, it's still not the damage output that we're looking for, but it, we're getting there. And, and once we can just sit at the outside and just... Just use our crits and, like, our, our pistol shot, it does 800 damage if we crit on it. So, it's not like we don't have the damage. It's a matter of just getting lucky enough for it to happen right now. With Twitch, it would be, would be yeah. Because he, the, their Twitch would just speed more. I think he went AFK, actually. Which could be a big portion of the reason we're winning. Or it could mean nothing at all. Boom, boom, boom. Was that a non-crit? No, no, it couldn't have been a non crit. It's not to say. Now we could face check the bush, like he just chose to do. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, no. No, no, running, running, running. Ooh. Gangplank out. Um, help, 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 help. Ah, uh, nope, nope, we're dead. We are so dead. Gosh dang it. Ooh, good, we just got Fan Dancer. Okay, that is it for Chris, I believe. Now we just need three very high damage items. So, first thing we look for, we'll go ahead and get Ravenous Hydra. That'll be some really essential... Wait, no, we need boots. Holy crap, we need boots. Okay, here's what I'm thinking for boots. So, boot, boot, boots, boots. Okay, we want to get Boots of Swiftness with uh right here fervor or clarity Ooh, it's hard to decide upon dealing damage with a single target spot see we gain movement speed through that which i feel uh coincides with our q focused build q oriented build very well or see it's just there's a there's a whole lot of options and i haven't done this build enough to know what to pick in this situation I think we're gonna go ahead and go with the clarity so that we just have overall movement speed, faster overall movement speed, rather than the on hit. In the event that we can't get it or can't turn around like in that previous situation, it wouldn't have been good. Okay, look. Ooh, that damage is good. Woo! Boom. See, and then there are other times like that. Oh, that was not happening. That was never gonna happen. Lol. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> nice. Ah! El Tigre. Oh gosh. We need to run. Gosh dang it. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. <gasps> oh! Oh man! Is the escape. Oh crap, 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 crap! Is the escape real? Uh, oh, snap. We might just... No! No! Gosh dang it. The ultimate. Oh, we were right there. Gosh. We cannot deal with the chase. The question is, is there a cast animation from Tana Barrage, though? I don't even know. Because, I mean, like, would it have stopped us from moving? Would it have, I don't know. I think it would have helped us in that situation. But I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so we're going to save up for our boots of swiftness, but things continue to go well. Oh no, not again! Oh, stupid camera lock setting, stupid stuff. Oh, and we got another kill. Like run for your life. Hmm, interesting. You want to get? Oh yeah, okay. Actually, I think we will go ahead and go with fervor, just cause, just cause we'll go with fervor. No, but we could have used the standard movement speed. Because we couldn't have turned around that situation. I just don't think we could have. I mean, like, using our E ability kind of helped. And our W for the 
The W actually allows us to escape quite a number of situations we usually wouldn't be able to. Oh, uh, come back. Oh! I, 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 oh, no, 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 oh my gosh. That's actually pretty cool. We can use scurvy to, to get out of our ultimate, but still. Dang it. Why me all the time? Of course, granted, if they didn't kill me, they'd be completely screwed, so. I'm not going to say they shouldn't. But I'm not even sure if my character is worth it to dump all that on. Because it allows my allies to consist consistently get good fights. Yeah, I, I got it. Alright. Because we can just warp right in. Or TP right in. Granted, I'm not sure whether or not he can kill the turret that quickly. But we'll certainly try. Okay. Now I know he's right in this bush. Most certainly. Oh, there he goes. Uh, guys. Danger, danger, danger. Rek'Sai on the loose. Oh, we better go and help them. Oh, no. Uh-oh. 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 Said you. Are you gonna get out of there? Are you gonna get out of there? Okay. We must go to our allies' aid. We want this one. We want a clarity. Let's we'll go ahead and buy a clarity. If we could just get a kill. Oh, no. Said you's dead. No! Okay. Um, that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and look over here. See if we can get ourselves a blue up. Like, like that would be very nice. Oh. Oh my gosh. Come the frick on. I cannot do jack crap in that situation. But we can go ahead and get our boots of swiftness. That'll be nice. Gosh dang it. Oh, here we go. Nope, oh, cat goes off. They're all dead. Ha. <sighs> this is upsetting, because we continue to be the ones that get shafted in all these situations. He, he went over here. Oh, or over there. He's right over there. And now he's still over there. Wow, what are you thinking? Okay, he thought it was a kind of bait thing going on, but then, like, that wouldn't have been very smart. Alright, so we got Seju, he's back. Now, Seju one is the center of the team, so we need to make sure that he's not going in by himself, because if he does go in by himself and dies, then we're pretty screwed, because we have no engagement. Like, who, who can engage on our team? Well, Katarina can engage, but if she goes in first, she gets blown up. Thresh can get a hook on someone, that kind of works. Oh, oh, is he going to get shot by Baron? Oh, wow, he didn't actually get shot by Baron. That's surprising. Alright, we're just waiting for these last five gold right here. Now... There's a LOL math video, whatever thing that I saw, and essentially it said that as long as how long you're waiting, what the heck? Okay, as long as how long you're waiting for an item is um is under fifty gold, then it's worth it. Or yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure it's either I'm pretty sure it's fifty. Yeah, because if it's anything above fifty, then you can just get to the camp and back in the time it would take anyway. Oh, oh, okay, she, she used that ability on- Oh! Boom! <gasps> what was it that time? What? Oh my gosh. BS. I call BS. Doesn't friggin' make sense. I don't even know who killed me. This is so retarded. Okay, now we have two slots left for high damage items. And that is what we will do. Oh! Oh man, that hook. Oh, that- might not have been very smart. Maybe. Oh, wow. Actually, like, no one took any damage at all. Except for Katarina took a little bit. I don't know. I feel like these new turrets are kind of underpowered. I mean, I know it's late in the game. Actually, 36 minutes in there. Holy crap, we've been doing this for 36 minutes? Wow. Yeah, I know it's kind of late in the game. So, the turrets aren't very strong, like, at all. Especially because Thresh is, like... About to hit 4k health. That's kind of insane. Yep, and here's pretty much the finalizing engagement right here. Double kill. What do you CS wise? Alright, second top and get. Uh, third top and get. Wow. Wait, can we get that last 3S CS though? 
Like, I think we can take the CS lead. Unless they keep getting shut down like that. Boom. Ooh, that is good damage against the tank. I will gain everyone a solid attack speed boost. Oh, gosh, wow. We, we cannot be the ones to take that. Boom. You see that damage is real. Like, that damage is not fake. Ooh, and now we back off. Ooh, that was good. That was really good. Okay. Now we're like... Ooh, okay, good. And see, now things are working. See, we finally have our basic crits. Oh, man, I really wanted that triple kill. That would have been nice to have that triple kill. Okay, now we gotta get CS, because we want to beat Katarina in CS. Come on, CS goal. Do, 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 do. And you see that, like, I didn't crit on that one Q, which means it did no damage at all. Okay, did we beat Katarina? Oh, we can't see. All right, everyone, thank you guys for watching. This has been Legendbound here, and just peace out, everybody. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.